Today I'm going to show you the best way to transfer all of your data from your old Galaxy phone over to your new Galaxy phone. Now in this case I'll be transferring from my Galaxy S23 Ultra over to my new Galaxy S24 Ultra, however the same process will apply to all Galaxy phones and many other Android phones as well. So this process is going to carry over everything from your apps, your music, photos, messages, uh, your settings, even your home screen layout and your wallpaper. It's going to save you a lot of time essentially mirroring your old phone over to your new phone and at the end of the video I'm also going to show you the best way to erase your old phone so that you can then safely sell it or pass it on without sharing any of your personal data. So without further ado let's get started. Now, before we start the transfer process, there's a few really important steps that you want to take to ensure this process goes successfully. And the first step is to plug both phones into power. Now, depending on how much data you're transferring, uh, this process can take several hours. So to avoid any phone running out of battery and shutting down midway through, uh, plugging them into power, preferably with a wired connection, is going to be the best route to take. You also want to make sure to have a SIM ejector tool ready. This will, of course, be used to uh, remove the uh, SIM card from your old phone and then put it in the new phone. Now, you should have one of these in the box of your Galaxy phone. However, if you've lost it or can't find it, uh, you can also use a paper clip. Uh, this here will work just fine. So what we can do now is uh, quickly, we're going to turn off the new phone and focus on the old phone. There's a few settings and things you want to check out. So first, you want to make sure that your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. And this is going to be required as this is going to allow your old phone to find your new phone and your new phone to find your old phone. And then once you confirm that both of these are on, we're going to go ahead and jump into the settings here and scroll all the way down to where we find software update and make sure that your old phone is running the latest version of Android that it supports. Now, that could be the most current version. That would be Android 14 now with, uh, in this case, One UI uh, 6.1. However, if you are only able to update to a previous version, say Android 13, that is okay. Just make sure that your phone is on the newest version that it can support. So in this case, uh, we can support the latest version of Android and we have no update to do. If you do have an update, make sure to do that before we continue. All right, so we're now ready to get started with the transfer process. So in this case, you want your old phone unlocked and on as you see here. And then we're going to go over to the new phone and you should see this welcome screen. If you don't, just press and hold the power button here on the side. And then we're going to tap on the start button here in blue. From here, we're going to go ahead and select our language and then tap on next. Uh, next, we're going to be asked to agree to the license agreement. So I'll agree to the first uh, and I don't agree to the second here. That's sending diagnostics data. You can if you like, I prefer not to. So we'll go ahead and tap agree. And here we go. So this is that essential pop-up that we now see on the old phone. And that is to set up the Galaxy Alter. So it means the old phone has already located the new phone. Now, in case you don't see this pop-up on your old phone, you wanna make sure again that your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are on. Um, if you still don't see it, what you can do is power off both phones then turn them back on and have them close to each other. And that should make sure that this pop-up shows on your old phone. And then from here, what we're going to do is tap set up here on the old phone. It's then going to start a connection between the two phones. Now, in this case, on the new phone, we have a QR code. So we'll take the old phone here, put that into frame. And there we go, just to scan that code. And this will then connect the two phones. It's also going to connect the new phone to my Wi-Fi, as you can see here, all, all in preparation for the transfer process. So we'll give this a second. All right, so about a minute later here, it's going to now ask for the passcode of my old phone over on the new phone. So this is the passcode that you use to unlock your phone, and this is going to then verify that it is you. And once you've entered this, we'll go ahead and tap on done. Now, this passcode will also then automatically be assigned to your new phone. Awesome. So from here, we have the copy data from your Android device screen, and we're going to tap on next because, of course, we do want to copy our data. Agree to the terms here. Continue. Uh, we have to allow some permissions for Galaxy Smart Switch. We'll go and allow all of those. And here we have the option to transfer your data either wirelessly or through a USB cable. All right, so this step is pretty important. Here we get to decide whether we want to transfer the uh, data via wireless or via a cable. Now, both these methods are good. Today, I'm going to be going for the wireless option, but I do want to briefly explain both. So wireless is going to transfer all of your data over Wi-Fi. You don't need to do anything. Whereas if you choose to use a cable, you'll need to plug in your USB charge cable. So the one that came uh, in the box of your phone or any USB-C to USB-C charge cable. And you want to plug one end into your old phone and then one end into your new phone. So basically, uh, directly physically connecting the two phones. Now, this can be great if, say, you're in a location where you don't have Wi-Fi or you have bad Wi-Fi, or if you're transferring a lot of data, and I mean hundreds of gigabytes worth of data. 
However, if you have a reasonably good Wi-Fi connection at home, like I have here, I have good Wi-Fi and I'm not transferring hundreds of gigabytes of data. In fact, probably like 80 or 70, uh, then the wireless connection is great. Again, because it will also allow you to keep both phones on charge, which is my preferred way of doing this transfer. So I'm gonna go for wireless, but again, both options here are good. So tap on wireless here, and then it's gonna connect to the old phone and we'll start the slowly start the transfer process. And here we go. Now that we've decided how we're going to transfer the data, we now get to select which data we want to transfer. So by default, it's going to transfer all data. I uh, actually really underestimated or overestimated rather the amount of data. I only have 15 gigabytes. It even has a time estimate. You can see around 10 minutes or so. Uh, you also have the option to transfer just the minimum or you can entirely customize this. So say you want to leave out certain things like certain apps or uh, big movies or videos you may have. But in my case, we're going to transfer over everything and then we'll tap on next. Now, if there's any app data that it can't carry over, it will show you on the screen. So for example, here we have WhatsApp. Now it's gonna carry over the application itself, but what it won't automatically carry over are your messages. So in that case, you wanna make sure that on your old phone, you log into your WhatsApp and make sure that your messages are backed up before completing the transfer, because that way, once you log into your WhatsApp on your new phone, you can simply restore all your messages from the cloud. Then we're gonna tap next here, and now the transfer process will officially start. Now, again, how long is this gonna take? This will vary on various factors, not only the method, whether you're choosing wired or wireless, but also your internet speed, and of course, how much data you're transferring. Now, in my case, it showed an estimate of around 10 to 15 minutes, which I think is quite reasonable, um, but again, it can take up to several hours if you have a lot of data. Just be patient, leave the two phones next to each other, and again, if you're using the wireless method, just keep them plugged in to make sure they can't run out of power, and then all will be fine, just give it time. Time. Great, so while this transfer process takes place, you can see here on the old phone, uh, we can actually tap on keep screen on. This will make sure that you'll always be able to see a dim version of the status, so we'll leave that on here. Uh, what we're gonna be prompted to do on the new phone is to set up the Google services. And there's a few th settings here that I do wanna show you as we go through them. So first of all, we have the uh, ability to agree or disagree to specific terms under these Google services. Uh, personally, I like to keep all of these on. The one that I turn off is to send diagnostics data. Of course, that is up to you, but that one I turn off, then we tap on accept. And then here we get to choose our default search engine. Now, of course, I think most are gonna go for Google. I think DuckDuckGo is a good alternative as well. Uh, but then if you really wanna go crazy, you can of course go for Yahoo Search. And once you've selected uh, your search engine, we'll go ahead and tap on Next. And this brings us to some Google Assistant settings. So here we go, go ahead and tap on Agree. Uh, there is one setting here that I do recommend you turn off. But here first we have a voice match. That's great to so make sure that is on and then we'll go ahead and tap on agree. Now, this is the one that I suggest you skip or turn off. Now, Google Assistant lets you return calls or respond to messages, right? Access a lot of your personal information, and this is great, but I wouldn't want that to be accessible when my phone is locked. And therefore, when you get to this screen, uh, Access Assistant without unlocking your device, you wanna make sure to not do that, to avoid that, uh, turn it off, or to skip this option, as turning this on means two things. One is that anyone can access your Google Assistant, so say your phone is lost or stolen, even when it is locked, yeah, Google Assistant can still be triggered, right? giving in way to have access to your personal data, something you probably wouldn't want. Uh, and second is, it's also gonna cost you a lot of battery, right? Because your phone is gonna be constantly listening for that activation phrase. This one right here, I'm not gonna say it out loud. Um, it's gonna be constantly working in the background and that's gonna take up a lot of battery. So my suggestion here is to skip this uh, step entirely. And here next, we get an overview of Samsung's advanced intelligence, which is basically their AI feature, some really cool stuff. Uh, we'll go ahead and tap on next here. Uh, and then here again, we have some more uh, things to agree to when it comes to Samsung specific services. We'll go ahead and agree to those as well. And then please wait. And you are all set up. Here we go. We can now tap finish and voila. As you can see, our phone has now come to life. Now we're not actually done transferring as you can still see. And if we go down here, uh, oh, this is our SIM by the way, uh, which we should also carry over. Uh, just quickly before we do that and tap on done real quick. If we scroll down here into the system menu here, we can see the status updates. You can see we still have a fair bit to go. We're at 21%. That's why things don't look fully complete yet, but you'll see that, uh, that our general app layout is already there. You can see a lot of the apps are starting to populate. Uh, a lot of them here are still gray because they still have to download in the background, uh, things like widgets as well. But you can see that it's still got a little bit to go. All of that will be completed in the background once this is ready. But you can see that right away, you can already start making calls uh, or sending messages if you need to. Now, this is a great opportunity to transfer over the SIM card. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put the SIM ejector tool here into the old phone. There we go. We're gonna take out the SIM card and put that in the new phone. There we go. Just place that in. And then we're gonna slide this new card here or this card into the new phone, like so. 
And as you can see, the SIM card will now be detected here on the new phone. Now, I actually use uh, two numbers here, so you'll be able to assign which number you want for preferred SIMs. Uh, this is only if you have multiple numbers, so you want to make sure you set those settings up as you like. Uh, go ahead and tap done here, and then we are ready. So at this stage here, you can already start using your phone, but we are going to wait for things to fully transfer. As you can see, it's just about halfway done here. So I'm going to leave these phones chill for another 5-10 minutes or so, and then we'll check back once the transfer completes. All right, so everything has now officially not only transferred over, but also installed on the new phone and the process is now complete. So if we go ahead and swipe to the home screen, you'll see that they look identical, not just in the layout. We have the same widgets, uh, even the same widget stack here. And of course, all of our applications are also installed. We literally have mirrored one phone over to the other. I also want to quickly show you my gallery, show that all the photos here, including even the most recent picture from a few days ago, have all carried over and are now on both phones. I also briefly want to touch on logins as there are some logins that will automatically uh, move over and log you in. For example, some Google related products uh, like, for example, YouTube here, you'll see that I am already logged into my accounts automatically as I was on my old phone. Uh, but other things like, for example, Instagram, you will need to log in once again, as this is not a Google service. Uh, but of course, if you have your password saved either in the Google password manager or with Samsung pa uh, Samsung's password manager, those will be stored on your phone. You can simply tap in and then autofill those fields from there. But again, the Google services, you will automatically be logged in on as well and other things uh, you should have stored on your device. Wonderful, and that then completes the transfer process. We've carried everything over from the old phone over to the new phone. So now that we've completed this process, uh, we can of course erase to sell or give away our old phone. Now, my suggestion is to still wait a few days or so after the transfer process before erasing your old phone, just to make sure that everything you've transferred over has officially done so. Again, it should be fine, uh, but if say for example, you've done a partial transfer, left out certain files, you may want those later. Uh, so just make sure that your new phone is fully set up and running as it should you've tested it, used it for a few days before we erase the old phone is that of course uh, it's going to erase all of its data permanently. So once you've done that and once you're ready to do so, let me show you how to erase your old phone so that when you pass it on or when you sell it, uh, none of your data will be accessible. So to do this, we're going to jump into the settings uh, app here and then we're going to scroll all the way down on the main page to where we find general management and then scroll all the way down again, tap on reset and then all the way, the last option here, factory data reset. Now from here, we're gonna have to type in our Samsung password uh, for the Samsung account. And then from there, it's going to erase the phone. This should only take a minute or two. And that will then eventually bring you to the same start screen that we saw over on the new phone, allowing whoever to own it next to set it up uh, or to transfer from their own phone as well. And again, this is a great way to make sure that your data does not uh, go wherever this phone goes next. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but if that's how you want to do it, or if that's what you'd like to do, simply tap it in there and it will then erase itself. But other than that, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave them down below. I'll be sure to read and get back to as many as I can. A uh, pretty straightforward process. Again, it takes a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth it because in, in the end, uh, it saves you so much time from having to reinstall everything manually, get your settings the way you like it. Uh, this is just copy paste, essentially just mirroring uh, one phone over the other. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, I also highly recommend checking out my Galaxy S24 Ultimate Guide video. A lot of this also applies to the Ultra line and it's really going to help you get the most out of your phone's features, uh, battery life, uh, as well as the performance. So I'll leave that video linked on screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.